Well, not sure if you're aware, it is National FFA Week, and with that in mind, we welcome to our desk, Abra Meyer is here. Hello. Hi, how are you? She's all bright eye and bushy <laughs> tail first thing on a Monday morning. Yeah, yeah, we got to be that way. It's National FFA Week. Yeah, and you're celebrating, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I am. Tell us what's going on. Well, we have National FFA Week. It started on this past Saturday on the 21st, and it goes throughout the 28th, and this week, I am serving as a state officer this year, so between me and my other eight state officer teammates, we are traveling around the state and getting exposed to the chapters that we have around the state. Um, we have 224 FFA programs throughout the state of Iowa with almost 14,500 FFA wow. members. Yeah, so we're almost at breaking that number, and we just broke a new record um, just this past month. So busy visiting schools, celebrating the history of FFA within Iowa, but also the United States, and getting a lot of exposure there with the students. I was going to say, break it down for us, because a lot of times you hear those letters FFA but it's like what actually do they do what's going on what are you talking about in the schools? yeah so the FFA was originally named the future farmers of America and it was an acronym as such but then in 1988 they dropped the acronym and just went with the National FFA organization to model the vast and broad spectrum of agriculture so throughout our visits we are building leadership um, our mission statement is the FFA makes a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education. So those are the three components we're really hitting as we travel around schools is developing that premier leadership and um, sparking and planting that personal growth and then also inspiring them to have career success in agriculture. So that's a lot of what we're doing and the students are also doing a lot throughout the state. Um, in Des Moines, the Des Moines FFA chapter, they meet with the city council to proclaim this week as National FFA Week week and a lot of surrounding chapters do um, different pancake breakfasts and different service projects within their, within their community to promote the whole week. Gotcha. What, what's your favorite thing about being a part of the FFA? Well, I used to love just meeting people, and I still love that, but now it's more of seeing the servant hearts that everybody has within the FFA. Um, we are youth in agriculture, and it's so cool to see the inspiration that students have at such a young age to be in agriculture and to be able to take that passion beyond high school mm -hmm. and into a career someday. So I really enjoy you know, meeting people, but beyond that, hearing their story and why they're so passionate about agriculture. In fact, 67 percent of our members do not come from the farm and really? I think that that's yeah that's typically um, something that people assume is every one of us are from a farm originally but in fact the majority of our membership is from the city or from some sort of um, town area and what does everyone uh, who is a member of the FFA do they all want to be farmers someday or does it reflect kind of a, a broad career path nowadays yeah it definitely reflects that broad career path so I grew up on a farm and we just do corn and soybeans we didn't have any livestock growing up but I hope to someday um, be in the agriculture industry but more on the sales side so this summer I'm doing a sales internship with Monsanto a seed company and um, um, I hope to take that on in my future of agriculture, and I know a lot of students are doing the same. Um, recently and for the future to come, there's a lot of technology being founded that's really going to help us move forward in producing the food that feeds the world, and so a lot of people are going into agri-science and the different technology and engineering behind agriculture and what makes that work. But people are also going back to the farm and producing the food that we have on our table each and every day, too. Now, you're going to be making stops all this next week. Where are you stopping in particular? Do you yeah. know where you're going? Well, I'm from Northeast Iowa, so I get to go back there um, tomorrow, actually. And then on Wednesday, I'll be over in Northwest Iowa in Calhoun County. Thursday, I'll be heading down to Southern Iowa to, <laughs> to um, Murray um, FFA. And then on Friday, I'll be back here in Des Moines for um, a chapter visit with the Des Moines FFA members. And then Saturday, we are actually gearing up for our state convention, which is in April, April 19th to the 21st. And in April, in Hilton Coliseum, so we'll get to experience some Hilton magic there. And so with that, this Saturday, we actually have some state convention prep, practice and preparations. So this week is chock full of just traveling around the state and getting to meet with other members. Yeah, but you're used to traveling, though, from what oh, we understand. Yes. Tell everybody where you just were. Yeah, well, last month I got to travel to South Africa, and fortunately that was through FFA as well. It was the International Leadership Seminar for state officers, and we were able to visit a lot of farms 
farms and see the production agriculture that South Africa is using to feed their um, whole area. They have a very, um, very, ve very vegetation, vegetative, if that's, if, that, if that's the right word, um, state down there. And it's really cool to see what they are doing um, with the climate that they have and with the resources and technology that they have to produce the food. But then we are also able to meet a lot of the locals there and um, experience some things that we had never experienced before. And um, that includes going into a really impoverished community and seeing how they live. And you know, you don't realize how much you take for granted what we have here in the United States, let alone in Iowa. Um, and so it was a great experience and very eye-opening and really cool to experience it with 75 other people from around the United States. And you said it's kind of inspired you to think you might be doing it in the future. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you know, I'm doing a sales internship this summer, but I hope that beyond that in my career path somewhere I get to go back to South Africa or some area of the world and be able to do some international development within the realm of agriculture so we'll see where that takes me but hopefully that works out so you're an amazing lady a former Iowa State Fair Queen oh and, gosh and a, <laughs> and a proud member of FFA they're, they, they're lucky to have you and oh. they continue spreading the great word if people want more information on the FFA if they want to get involved because they see the wonderful things you're doing how can they get how can they do that absolutely so we have our Iowa FFA um, website and it's www.iowaffa.com and in fact we have a tab on the drop down menu if you go to our resources and just find National FFA Week um, we have the program um, drop down that will show you that event so www.iowaffa.com or the National FFA website is www.ffa.org so that's how people can find out more otherwise they can always contact us through our website as well wonderful excellent great, well, great job thank Good you so job. Well, thank, thank you guys you. for having me. I appreciate it. It's 8 o'clock. We'll be back. This is a great day.